I will show in this video how to create the ragdoll for any character. I will equip the character step by step. And I will show how to fix some unexpected issues. Call the ragdoll plugin in your scene. Firstly select the segment of bones. The second step, set the mode. Third, hit equip selected. Ragdoll plugin will do the rest. The part of the body has become equipped with the ragdoll. Now this body part will be simulated using physics. Basically, this is the whole workflow. You can add spring muscles. Change mode to springs and hit equip. The ragdoll plugin connects each neighbor joints with springs. And springs keep the initial pose during the simulation. Here we've added the force to the tail. As you can see in this place the tail joints twists unnecessarily. If you want to avoid the twisting, just create twisting springs and add the force. The twisting springs mode. This mode keeps the angle along longitude axis. As you can see now the tail behave properly. By creating bending and twisting springs with the ragdoll plugin we can easily control our ragdoll. Let's create the ragdoll for T-Rex spine. Set the desired mode and hit equip selected. Raggle plugin has processed the chain. The head bone is too short in this model. We can fix it and re-equip the chain easy. We only need to connect all parts. New connector appeared. Now let's connect the tail to the spine. Connect the root, tail joint, to the target, pelvis joint. Now the tail is connected to a spine. Using this method we can equip everything. With the Ragdoll plugin, you can mix the physics with the animation. You can make the part of the body simulated and another part animated. Now let's create the Ragdoll for legs. Select the start of the bone segment, then select the end of the bone segment. In this case, the knee finger mode suits better. This mode creates the connector in a hinge mode. Hit Equip Selected. Correct connectors are created. You don't have to spend time setting each connector, finding the correct angles and limits for twists and bends. The Ragdoll plugin calculates it by itself. Equip fingers and connect it to the foot. Rare exceptions are bones with a not-so-obvious angle relative to another bone. For example, the lateral toe. It will most often have to be corrected manually. Connect the leg to a spine. New connector appeared.
the character began to interact with obstacles. Modify your animation easily. Repeat the same workflow for the right leg. The rag doll requires colliders for physics simulation. These colliders should be of correct shapes. Usually you need spend a lot of time manually create the shapes and place it for each bone. The rag doll plugin creates colliders automatically. The plugin takes the character's mesh and automatically generates colliders. But some places of the character's mesh could require additional attention. Fix it manually. Connect the jaw to the head. Also, we can always cut off the excess. Read more about modes on the dock page. Let's enlarge the collider sizes like we did it early. In this place the leg and pelvis colliders collide too much. We'll cut off the excess. You can see the collision shape of the exact mesh. Just turn on its visualization. Go to the project settings, dynamics, visualization and set. Enable the collision shapes. That's all. Now I've created the Ragdoll. Ragdoll plugin helps to make it quickly. The next part we will add the rider. I will create quick and very basic IK rig. I make IK chains for legs and hands. I need it only to easier place the character. Go to Expression, Ragdoll Plugin, create a plugin instance in the scene. In the retarget menu we make the plugin understand what character bones are. To make it faster select pelvis bone and the head bone and press the button. Make sure that the plugin has processed the correct bones. Repeat the same for the arms and legs of the character. Press the ragdoll button. That's it. The rag doll is created. Now we can place the characters in our scene and start creating. Connect characters' toes to the T-Rex spine bone. Select the rider's toe bones, select the T-Rex's spine bone and press, connect to. 
the ragdoll plugin has attached two first bones to the last selected. Now we can look the result. Now character keeps his legs. Let's create the rope. The ragdoll plugin provides the fully dynamic chain type objects. The ragdoll rope interacts with all rigid body objects, connectors, receives collisions from another scene objects, translates collisions to another objects. It is possible to assign the cut shape of rope and in the result, receive any type of the chained object, the tank track, dreadlocks, snake, etc. Firstly, we need the spline object. When you have created the rough shape of the rope, select your spline and holding Alt button create the ragdoll plugin. Now the plugin will consider its child spline as the future rope object. Hit equip or set new amount of rope joints. We can tie the created rope into a knot, tie around the character, connect different dynamic objects with it. You can modify your spline object interactively. On the jaws we can leave the rope as is, but also we can fake it and attach the rope to the T-Rex's upper jaw rigidly. Connect hands to the rope and the rope to the T-Rex head. Voila! Now we've created the whole structure. The characters interact with each other and are connected with the rope. Now you can start directing the scene and acting the characters. For example, I see that I want the rider to balance on his feet more firmly. Create springs to add the strength to character's body. Now I am raising the force of the springs to achieve the desired behavior. Perfect! Now I think I want to make less twisting in the rider's spine. I think my character is a skillful rider. He balances the rocking by his legs and keeps his posture. So I will select the pelvis bone and the head bone and will equip everything between with twisting springs. And now I want the last touch, I want to fix the behavior of the character's head so that instead of dangling it from side to side, the character keeps the head in the direction of movement. To do this, I'll add two constraint tags for the head bone. For the first one I will set the mode to aim and indicate the target, let him look at the head of the T-Rex. The second one I will set up as the up vector. And finally, I will change the execution priority of constraint tags to calculate after the dynamics. We are also still free to create some animation for the character and mix it with the simulation.
Add the steps per frame for more accurate simulation. Learn more about the Ragdoll plugin on the doc page. Links in the description.